this PGA Tour event brought to you by 2K Sports. We're at the Tall Palms Classic. Today's coverage is about to start. I'm Luke Elby. We've got Rich Beam in the booth and we've got John McCarthy down on the course. Hello, Luke. Glad to be with you. Hot down here today at the Juba Ride Club. Hopefully you guys have a bit of AC up there in the booth. Looking forward to bringing everybody a bit of the action from down on the course today. Handy effort, that one. Already has four wins under the belt this year. Going with the six iron here. Getting ready to play their third. frustrating and just about eight feet left to the hole oh wonderful effort confirms the par he's in a share of fifth position We're at the par three here. I love these holes. Opting for the six iron. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Not taking enough club to get it there. That was a little bit too much power. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Oh, so close. Putting for bogey. Job done. Let's head to the next. Currently at plus one for the tournament. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Not a bad line, this one. quality shot that one and here we are with the third shot yeah not a bad effort that one up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt this putt coming up is for birdie Hey, nice looking line. Always good to lead the bounce back category. That's a good stat. And unfortunately dropping back to even with the card.
welcome to this hole. That's a par four. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. This shot from around the 200 yard mark. They need to flight this one down into the wind. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Nice shot that, that should find the surface. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Remember, there's two important parts of a putt, line and length. Too much length on that one. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Well, guys, this is looking like about 27 feet. putt to make that one give yourselves a pat on the back why not take another look at that effort trailing by a few shots after that hole. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. What a gargantuan tee shot. That's a little wayward. Oh, the wind wreaks havoc with another golf ball. He's got a par out here. Let's see if he can make it. If it's up, it could be in. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. That's a bit out of shape. Setting up in the first cut. Mm. That's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Not a bad line, this. And that will drop in for birdie. Well, that's a lovely way to make a move into the top five. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Teeing off here at the seventh. Luke, this player coming off a of birdie on the last hole, getting some momentum going their direction. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. <laughs> Going with a three wood here. Well, that's big boy golf right there. 
using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. Would it be nice to make this putt? This is for Regal. Go on, get in the hole. Oh, well home for Regal. And with that, he'll move to three under par. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. Here they are, full of confidence on the next tee, coming off the eagle. Going with the 9-iron, nine -nine, I think. That's tidy. Make this putt, he'll tie for top spot on the leaderboard. This one's online. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And with that, he'll move to four under par. He's currently in a share of top spot. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Well struck. This one from about 160 yards out. Going with the seven. Oh, that's well played. And a chance for Birdie here at the ninth. And with that, that's their fourth Birdie. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Here we go, Rich, in the lead, late in the championship. It's exciting. Yeah, no time to start thinking about that lead, Luke. They got to keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think about that lead or people will pass them. Ooh, staying aggressive, going for the green. They're in the bunker. But a chance to get up and down. Okay, step one complete. Out of the bunker. Now let's go make a putt. Lining up the birdie putt here. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. It's got a chance. And that's a way to fight back from a tough break. Well hold. Absolutely. In the bunker, off the tee. Getting that one, that is a Brucey bonus. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Coming off a hat trick of birdies. That's great momentum. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Trying to get it to seven under par with this putt. This one's looking good. Geez, making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. And that will take him to seven under. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Time for the second shot at the 12. Well, they've certainly got the swing and a groove. 
Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And with that, he'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. Here we have a par five. Nicely done. Second shot here on their 13th hole. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Oh, well played. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. This putt's about 23 feet, guys. Oh, what a shame it didn't drop, but that looked good the whole way. Just a simple tap in for Birdie, leading by five shots after that. All right, getting into our final stretch. Time to tee off here at the 14th. Game with the seven. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Steps up to a punt of about 15 feet in distance. Get excited. This could go in. And that putt will drop, and he'll extend his lead. And now that finds him in first place. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? That's in the sand. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Gallant attempt. Four feet to the cup. And yet another putt drops. So now 10 under par heading down the stretch. And nice to have that cushion heading down the last few holes. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. That should find the bunker. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. And he needs this to save par. This is a good chance. They've hold it. That's very gutsy. And a nice, tidy save from the greenside bunker. Nice par. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's Exhibit A. They say drive for show, putt for dough, but that was plenty of show there.
but not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. That's the right pace. This should drop. Well, that was a beauty. That had eyes for the hole the whole way. And let's have one more look at that shot. sitting at minus 11 overall. Well, what a lovely position to be in, holding the lead, playing the last. Good luck. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Second shot here on the 18th hole. Interesting choice of the driver here. Oh, what a time to chip one in here. Do so, and you'll win the tournament. Okay, steady now. A hole out from off this green here. You'll win the tournament. All good putters accelerate through the ball. That will drive you bats. Well, you've got to take your hat off to them, Rich. Just an outstanding performance this week. It was such good golf all week long. I've got to say, showed a lot of grit, a lot of guts coming down the stretch, pulling it out at the very end. Happy congratulations. Good stuff. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.